Hi guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to the Fiat Eco Basic. A very smart concept car from the year 2000 produced by Fiat to showcase their thinking under the uh, Giluto team. Um, fantastic Fiat design. I think ah, it's such a shame that it didn't reach any further. Here in the front end you can see the nose, plastic wraparound bumpers, um, and not just plastic bumpers which were painted gray no these were true and true so if you scratch the car nobody could really see it and it wasn't just a bumper it was the entire body that was made out of plastic so all these orange red elements that you can see on the car on the exterior were able to be uh, changed easily produced easily at lower cost compared to um, mass production in uh, steel or uh, aluminium or whatever metal um, very smart modular interior. The car uh, boasts a small diesel engine, uh, 0 to 60 or 100 kilometers an hour in about 13 seconds, but fine for a city car. You can see the glass front window that has a lot of plan shape. So looking at a car from the top, front end, rear end of the car, um, normally a windscreen would be maybe slightly curved, but this is very much curved. So uh, highly aerodynamic. Uh, here you can see uh, the wiper fluid, for instance, in blue easy to reach without getting dirty hands very smart only audi did that on the a2 um, and i don't think any other manufacturer ever did that on a mass production car bar arrival they've done this too and tune into the review on the arrival if you enjoy that kind of design thinking so sadly there is not a lot of footage available on a car that is already 22 years old so it's what we have here is very low resolution but i think you can see uh, some of the uh, great design thinking in there you can see how curved that rear screen is look at that look at how curved that rear screen is uh, look at how interesting the flow of shapes and lines is how nicely interconnected everything is and how smartly the rear end is designed with um, i think even the tail lights integrated in the plastic cover of the rear glass let's say the rear window uh, here you can see these uh, plastic panels which uh, are again very simple and easy to produce uh, wind down window but again nicely integrated in the design here we've got the doors uh, again on the interior nice big grab handles very easy to use the roof and the bonnet panel two roof panels which i think were interchangeable for uh, like a canvas roof and a, a fixed roof here you can see this nicely integrated unit and i'm saying nicely integrated as in it's very simple so there's not adding stuff adding stuff adding stuff and making it more and more complex but actually it's reducing the amount of parts to be produced and that obviously leads down to a lower bill for the manufacturer this car in the end would have been for sale for only five thousand euros for a city car i mean that's incredible that's truly incredible currently um of course, uh, Citroën, uh, Toyota and Peugeot have uh, killed the city bug, as they call the small uh, Citroën uh, C1, the Toyota Igo, etc. Um, because they couldn't make any money on it, because they were getting increasingly more complex. And um, I think Fiat is showcasing their fantastic design thinking here. They don't just style another vehicle. They don't just make another car. That, looks nice or sporty or whatever no they take a step back and say okay how can we make the best possible city car in the world it has to be easy to produce cheap to produce and in this case cheap to change parts this is the rear door that can be um in a, in a cheaper version would be just a fixed element so not a door you would have a three door car so front door and a front door and then one rear door but if people wanted to upgrade the car they could integrate a actually actual hinged door you see that lower uh, cut line for the window at the back making sure that children in the back wouldn't get car sickness this large plastic unit at the back basically replacing all the bodywork that would normally be produced that goes around the corner so um, again that's all expensive uh, class a surfacing it's called so the surfacing that you see uh, you can touch basically walking around the car that's very high-end stuff that's like the highest industrial grade you can get basically to um, and and if you make that out of plastic and you make it wrap around the corner 
you only basically have a site that is now class A surfacing. And then if you look carefully at what they did there with the design of the exterior, uh, the doors are panels that are easy to produce and they don't have any uh, body sides showing, so to speak. I hope that makes sense. Um, aside from the doors, like apart from the doors, and these doors are easier to produce than um, normal elements, let's say. So this car is so full of innovation also when it comes to the interior. Um, here you see the, the seats that are basically like the old Fiat Panda. Um, very simple, uh, very nicely done. So just a frame with sort of see-through uh, material that is again easy to produce, that is lightweight, that is comfortable. Also when it's hot in Italy, the sun is on you, you don't necessarily want to have a heavy air conditioning or cool seats. No, you want seats that cool themselves. Scaffolding like um, a rear bench, um, a rear seats that fold away. Um, honesty in design, very clever, very simple. And you've got an open space, you just switch or flip around the seat units and you've got a semi-flat floor to transport maybe, uh, you know, some moving boxes or perhaps even a bike. Um, People can sit easily, they have a great amount of visibility because of the windows. You know, it's so clever, so full of smart innovation. Here you can see how that air is flowing around. Only the red parts are obviously where the, the wind is having most difficulty. But because of that plan view of, um, of plan shape of the, the, the top view, uh, only there is where the wind truly hits the car. And, and then it already rounds off to the sides. And the little, I think, 1.2 liter diesel engine has less difficulty with pushing through the air. So, um, resulting in a very economical uh, little diesel engine uh, because of the aerodynamics. I think this car, uh, you know, it could have been fantastic when, of course, tuned down a bit for mass production. Um, but it would have put Fiat on the map, not just the Multipla, but also even smaller city car truly innovative like the first fiat panda was truly innovative too and look how fuel efficient this little car would have been you know almost no co2 i think um this kind of stuff is what fiat sh should focus on now there's hardly any competition in that in that field now and of course i don't know the business case and probably if uh, toyota and citroen and peugeot are pulling out it is very hard to produce something in this sector but if Fiat would do this little eco basic now, um, of course, revamp it into modern, even more modern materials. Uh, but again, plastic, lightweight, aerodynamic is exactly what a modern day electric car needs. So this would have been, could have been, or can be as a concept, still, I think, very apl applicable to today's mobility needs. Um, like I said, there's hardly any competition out there now uh, producing very small city cars um, because it's nice to actually see it on the road and to see it in slightly less poor resolution because obviously 22 years old, there's not a lot of high resolution stuff available on this little Eco Basic. The perfect city car of the future, uh, here you can see that shot line with the clamshell hood, so the bonnet that runs over the fenders, you could say. Um, one of the modern day cars that has that is the new Range Rover. Make sure you tune into that review too um, on this channel. And uh, looking at that shot line uh, flowing on the, the side door, let's say, or the front door. Um, uh, and, and, and there's this line in the plastic there. And I think it's done to make the panel more stiff, which makes it easier to produce because you can use less material and makes it cheaper to produce, which makes the car cheaper, etc., etc. So then this uh, shot line becomes a feature line in the car, right? So from a, a panel gap, it becomes a, a, a three-dimensional sculpture in the, in the door. And then it flows into this lower side window for the children in the back so they can look out of the car easily. Again, full of great innovation. Flat wheel covers, because of course wheel covers are cheap, but also because it's more aerodynamic to make these wheels flat. So if you look at current modern day electric cars, they all have very flat wheels, uh, sometimes with black graphics on it. So it makes it look like the wheels actually have some holes uh, or the holes are bigger than they appear to be. Um, but in the end, they are very flat wheels. So again, 
full of great innovative thinking. Und das scheint gelungen, denn in diesem Konzeptauto steckt eine Fülle von innovativen Lösungen, wie zum Beispiel die Klappe an der Frontpartie, die ein müheloses und sauberes Nachfüllen der Betriebsmittel ermöglicht. You could see these uh, filler openings on the front, uh, keeping your hands clean, very easy to uh, fill your car up with some uh, fluor, uh, wiper fluid um, uh, without opening up the engine bay and, you know, getting all your hands greasy and you have to go back in again and now uh, the children are crying and all that kind of stuff. So, proper design thinking. Ebenso die Karosserie, die größtenteils aus pigmentierten Kunststoffplatten gefertigt ist. Kleine Rempler bleiben damit ohne Folgen, weil eben keine Farbe vorhanden ist, die abblättern kann. Schlau, nicht? Das Baukastenprinzip des Eco Basic ermöglicht jedenfalls, dass individuell auf die Wünsche der Kunden eingegangen werden kann. So here we see uh, this interior again nicely done with some basic and simple colors. Uh, openness about the construction of the car you can just see basically the roll cage that normally is all cladded in uh, fat bricks and making it more expensive and even more expensive but why would you want that right so this is i think a sort of a canvas stop we're looking at uh, the headliner so you know you can enjoy in the sun in italy open up your roof and uh, you know very simple clever fun great work auch im nachhinein die sitze können beispielsweise jederzeit ergänzt oder ausgetauscht werden You can see how open this interior looks because of these see-through uh, front seats. So, especially for children in the back, sitting in their rear seat and let's say uh, only one parent is driving and nobody is sitting in the passenger seat, they can actually look through. So, even less car sickness. You know, very clever thinking there. Sogar die Armaturentafel und das Interieur kann Aussehen und Funktionalität beliebig ändern. Dass der Eco Basic wenig verbraucht, noch weniger kostet, bedienungsfreundlich, sicher und problemlos ist, braucht nicht extra erwähnt zu werden. Doch sehr wohl erwähnenswert ist der Antrieb. Ein kleiner 1,2 Liter JTD Motor der zweiten Generation sorgt dank dem geringen Eigengewicht von 750 Kilo für spritzige Fahrleistungen und einen Verbrauch von unter 3 Litern auf 100 Kilometer. So, it's very fuel efficient, clever panels that are true and true, so if there is a scratch on the grey bumpers or, or the colored plastic bonnet or doors, you don't see it immediately, you don't have to go for a respray immediately. If the panels are damaged, um, you can replace them easily. Again, only I can think of uh, Arrival, the van company, make sure you look into that video too if you haven't seen that yet. They are you could say slightly comparable to this they i think also have this um panel on front for easy um, uh, uh, wiper fluids and and other uh, fluid uh, checks um but but apart from that manufacturer there is hardly anybody who is truly rethinking what a car means how it could function for the people buying it this car would cost only 5000 euros and you know ah uh, It, it would have made the world uh, such a more beautiful and better place if they would have managed to push it through to production. Bleibt nur noch die Frage offen, wann der kleine Konzeptflow in Serie gehen wird. So. I hope you enjoyed this video on the Fiat Eco Basic. I think it's a fantastic piece of design. I think ah, it would have been so great if it would have been would have received the light, the green light for production. Um, true Italian proper car design, like the first Fiat Panda was proper car design and it made a massive group of people more mobile because of it. And it's an absolute design icon and If you now want to have a nice, decent first generation Fiat Panda, you have to pay for it, you know, and rightfully so, because they're fantastic pieces of car design. This could have been a modern day Fiat Panda without being retrospective. Um, it's about proper design thinking and proper design execution. So well done to the team of Fiat at the time under Roberto Giolito. Um, Let me know below in the comments if you agree or disagree with me. Would you like to see more reviews on old concept cars, 22 years old already in this case? Let me know below. Feel free to share this video on your own social media channels, your Facebook, your LinkedIn, your Twitter. I enjoyed having a look at this car. Thank you for putting in this request because it came from you. Um, awesome car, awesome piece of car design. 
and let's hope that Fiat will see the light soon and will push for modern, fresh, innovative car design for the masses. Cheers, see you next time. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.